The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. As Jerome Corsi said, my name is Mara Zabist. I am a teacher of Adobe um, programs and Microsoft programs for government uh, employees as well as uh, many fi Fortune 500 companies. I also co-author and I'm a technical editor for over a hundred books. Uh, a dozen of those are for Adobe programs. Um, I came to look at this birth certificate on the day that it was uh, released from a friend of mine. I have many friends who rely on me for my expertise. Uh, I can't tell you how many times people call me up and they, in this case too, they just said, if anybody can tell if it's real or fake, I know it'd be you, you'd have to look at it and tell me what you see. I went to the White House. Uh, website. I downloaded the file. I opened it up in Illustrator and the reason I opened up in Illustrator is because I know that if it's a PDF it's going to, uh, Illustrator is still going to retain a lot of the information and so I opened it up in Illustrator to see what I could find. Within seconds this is not only a fake document, it is an obvious fake document. It was just unbelievable. I, I was just in shock that what I was looking at. Um, it, this document is just impossible, impossible that it could be authentic. And I can show you why. When you open this document up in Illustrator, first you have this links palette here which shows multiple links. That is not normal for a normal document. If this document had been scanned into a computer, as the White House says it has been, you would only see one flat layer and one link. If we look at the layers palette here, we see multiple layers. That is not normal for a normal document. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.